Hi folks, Mike Stewart with Bark River Knives. People ask us, all of us that work here, all of us in the industry, what's our favorite knife? My favorite all around knife is the one I actually designed for me, which is the Canadian Special. Um, I designed this very selfishly to fit my hand perfectly. I have, I, I don't have an extra small hand, but I don't have a really large hand. I would say medium to medium large hand. And a lot of people have said they don't like it doesn't fit their hand, and I, that's fine. I made this to fit my hand. We've sold thousands of them, but so they must fit somebody else besides me. When I put this in my hand, it just feels right. I have perfect control of the blade. Uh, I don't have to choke up. I don't have to do anything. The point is in the center. I can use it for, um, people talk about a drop point, so it keeps the point out of the viscerals when you're um, field dressing an animal. I don't really care. It could be an upswept, a, a clip point. Because, I mean, if the, if the point's in the way, I'll put my finger on it, you know, when I go in. But um, it has a nice straight portion of the blade, which you can use for food prep. It has a nice curve on it for skinning. I don't expect this to be everybody's favorite knife. I expect it to be mine because I, I designed it for me. Now, then we get into, what's your next favorite knife? Well, my next favorite knife is our Bushcrafter. I looked at all the Bushcrafters on the market and saw what they had in common and then saw what I did like and what I didn't like about them. And I came up with this as the Mike Stewart's interpretation of a Bushcrafter. It has what appears to be a Scandi grind. It's not, we don't do, scan, we don't do flat Scandi grinds. We don't do them, we don't do them, okay? This is a convex Scandi, which is like the original Scandi knives. Not like the ones they market today, but the original ones by the original Sammy people that had these knives. They're convex because you, it's impossible to have a flat edge that you sharpen by hand. They get convex. They were designed convex. If you, if you look at the point, notice that the point is in the center, which is what I like. And Bushcraft guys will tell you that's for drilling. It is, it works for that. Um, for batoning, look at the other commonality here. You notice that this grind doesn't go all the way up to the top, it has, a, it has a, an upper shoulder for spreading wood. Ta-da, same thing here. It, it batons wood faster. Does it have enough belly for skinning? Absolutely. For being a skinning knife, no. But for accomplishing the job, yeah. It has a straight area for food prep. And it has an ergonomic handle, not finger grooves, not my fingers. This should fit everybody's hand pretty well. Um, and But nothing that will lock you into holding a knife in one position because you have uh, all these different grips that people instruct people with, like chest lever and whatever that is. I'm not even sure. But because um, I, I just, from the time I was about 14, and I'm 65 now, just use knives, and I didn't need names for the particular holds I use. But um, this one would be comfortable no matter how you held it. Now, well, Mike, what's your next favorite knife? Well, I think it's the most, one of the most innovative knives we've ever designed, and that's the Ultralight Bushcrafter. This only weighs 2.7 ounces. It's a smaller version of the Bushcrafter, but not a knife that you can't get a full grip on. You can get a full grip on this knife. It's only 90 thousandths thick, but it's 3V, which means there's plenty of edge stability even with 3V steel. You can, you can horse this knife. Um, and it has all the features of the larger Bushcrafter in a really compact package that you can easily carry. I mean, 2.7 ounces, even with the sheath, you don't even notice that, you're, that you have it with you or you're wearing it. So one, two, three, Canadian Special, Bushcrafter, Ultralight Bushcrafter. That's the three that I like the best.